My name is Angel Maxwell, I'm 17 years of age. I play for the Camden and Chelsea Sports Club and I attend the Technical Division, St. Vincent Community College. The first time I played football, I was a little girl running around the park and I never really took it serious but at age, ages 11 to 12 is when I really took the sport serious and I started going to training and I made my first national team at age 15. My name is Pete Olivier. I'm presently the technical director for the Football Federation, that is the St. Vincent Grenadines Football Federation. Also the, one of the co-founders for Camdona Chelsea, a club that Angel is presently a player of. Well, Angel as a player is very committed, persistent and determined. Okay? When she started off, she was kind of shy not wanting to do certain things, but with a little encouragement, she kind of get the idea and get basically a sense of direction as to where she wants to go. Okay, she started off first with our B team because we had two female teams. She started with the B, then move up quickly to the A. The A team that is the Camdona Chelsea female team. And then from there, she moved on to the national under 20. And eventually because of her commitment and her style of play and her commitment to the game and her determination, she actually now on the national senior team. When I'm on the field, everything just feels different. Everything changes. You feel relieved. You feel like you're where you belong. Well, Angel has a, she has a lot of strong points. Okay, and those that would stand out would be her, her determination to win the ball. Okay, her ability to distribute the ball. Okay, and now and again, her ability to tackle. Though she kind of, now and again, have to say, you're going hard, let them know that you're there. Okay, but those are the three pointers that stand out right now in Angel's football career. I am a very determined player. I Anything, any challenge that is put to me, I am willing to accept and I'm al always willing to try new, th new things and be better at the sport. My main position on the field is right back. Um, I enjoy playing that position because I love going one-on-one -on -one with players, tackling, dribbling is one of my strong points also. Um, generally right-footed. Um, crossing is also one of my strong points with my right foot. She was the most outstanding player for the South Leeward. I forget to mention that she also made the South Leeward team and she's presently the captain for our senior team that is Camdona Chelsea female team. She also assists in coaching some of the young girls that are coming up now. Definitely there are some room, rooms for improvement in terms of her playing. One would still be her tackling, okay, because she tends to kind of ease up when she's tackling. She has to be a little more rougher, okay, and a bit of dribbling. Training hard would be my number one priority. Um, anything the coach, coaches ask me to do, I will, and I will put my best foot forward and give a hundred percent. Any coach that's willing to take in jail, I would tell you that they have a bright prospect. Okay, because one, she's committed. Committed to every single thing when it, um, in regards to football and non-football activities, whether it be academics or otherwise. Two, she is always, always a listener and always have an open ear to hear any advice given to her. And when in putting it to practice, she try her best.
to execute and implement or implement and execute what you want her to do. So any coach that has injured, they would, they would have an easy task of maybe guiding her to the team's objective as well as an individual objective. I'm a member of a family of five and I'm the youngest out of three. I have two, two elder brothers and if I'm given the opportunity to go to a university, I will be the first. Well, I will be the only one to journey this far and I would like to make the opportunity worthwhile. To be honest with you, almost every time we meet up, is advice and Angel know by now exactly based on all the advice that were given to her what to expect what to do and what not to do I know if she if she's given an opportunity to further her footballing career as well as her academic career she basically will be focused and she will make the best use of it and I'm sure that the persons who have uh, who has her will not be disappointed um, my main focus is physical education and physiotherapy. On a Sunday morning, me and my family usually go to church and after church, we will go our separate ways, but if there is game on the park, I would usually go and I would usually take my ball with me. First of all, I would like, like to thank God for giving me this opportunity, for bringing me thus far. I want to thank my brothers for always supporting and motivating me to play the game. I want to thank my parents for allowing me to attend training, attend all my games, go on camps and even travel out of St. Vincent to play for my national team. I would like to thank, mostly thank all of my coaches for putting in the extra effort in making me a better player. And all, I want to thank all of the other persons who played an important role in my football life. 